Hello everyone, B-Phone 4 and Son of Beast here, and this time, it's about to go down. We are now in the conference finals for the championship game in between the Eastern and Western Conference. Now, this is where it gets things interested. If you're ready, it's that time, folks. One of the teams will be heading into the finals and win the whole thing. One team for Western Conference and one team for the Eastern Conference. It's coming up next, after this. Let's bring it on! Brown now, relatively late in the shot clock, spins, floats it up and floats it in. Boy, the Cavs bench is vehemently claiming that that was a walk. We've never seen them since playing back in 2018. Floor, and that's where they get so many threes. Oh, what a highlight! Man, give it up to Robert Williams. What a pass by Horford. He's breaking that down, looking at a fading shot clock. As Garland knocks in the three. Man, he's hot hands. Got a good set feet. Good shot. He'll zigzag his way halfway down the lane. His floater is true. Mitchell now has 34 and is back to a one-point game. Toward Brown, wheels his way down the lane, floats it up, and floats it in. DM, and the crowd goes wild. That's what they do. Donovan Mitchell, what a finish. With it, up ahead to Tatum, to the rim. Smart to see him make the steal. Back to Brown. Whoa, Jalen Brown, you can do that? Yes, he does. What a finish. Tatum, step back three. You bet. Jason Tatum, a superstar player. Crowd while favored for the Tatum and Horford, the better veteran teams. They all loved it and they enjoyed it. Lucky luck. Mitchell on the attack, soft tosses it in. If you've never seen this finish, well, that's the biggest part of a drive you ever see. Bring of the game in Boston five nights ago. Mitchell to the basket, draws a foul, puts it up and in, a circuit shot by Donovan Mitchell, and he has a chance for the three-point play. That's what they all do. Donovan Mitchell, a biggest drive effort. Yeah, I've got good eyes on him. They always say, count it and one. That's for him. Cavs, Celtics, next on 2K Sports. Hey everyone, Son of Beast here and me Phone 4. Welcome to the first game of the NBA Eastern Conference Finals. As right now, we are in the NBA first of the section before we head on over to hockey for the start of the first game of the Bruins and the Hurricanes for a double header. As right now, we have a good start here for the Boston Celtics. They have done a 1-0 lead over Cleveland Cavaliers. But at this moment, we're about to be seeing who will take it over. Right now, standing by with me, we have Miss Clover. And she will be in a pregame show and a postgame show. Oh, that's right. Thank you so much for bringing me here. It's been a good, com comfortable game since we see the last one. Yeah, I know. Wasn't that fantastic? Yeah, it is. I really enjoyed it. But now I want to see them if the commentators can do really well. I'll have uh, Brian Anderson take it over it. That's your correct answer. Good shot. And right now, at this game, 1-0 is where we start off for Boston Celtics. Cleveland Cavaliers are looking for a way to get that one back on the run. Will they get an answer back? Or will Boston Celtics take the start of the 2-0 lead in the series in Boston? Well, we'll find out how this happens. And this is going to be what we all want. Let's send you down to TD Garden Arena for the first game of the doubleheader. And then, hockey will be later at 7 p.m. for tonight's Saturday's prime time. I'll see you all later, everyone, for the post-game show. And standing by will be, for the halftime show, will be uh, Irving Johnson, along with Kenny the Jet Smith and Shaq Shaquille O'Deal. Yep, you all call for it. See you all later, everybody. Then enjoy the game for the second game of the Eastern Conference Finals. Let's do it! 
Alright, let's find out what is going on in between the top best plays of this game of 2K TV. Wow! Let's see what you guys have made to post. I can't wait to see what it is. Me too. Me three. For the start of the first selection, it's Mikella Make 2X. Here's what happens now. When you see this one, you find it and you give that one an open alley up. The second choice of your pick, their letter B, is Real DB13. And this is what Selfish is. Oh. 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 I would like that one. Well, you might have to go with your own vote. Your option C is right now a one half mirror. He does this way. But this one was turned out just like that. And wow, that was a rebound putting like this, the chaser, and the alley oop finish. And your letter B goes out this. Your final vote will be tonight's end. And for your look, here's what you did. See that? That's what the finish is. I think that was the best one. I like letter B. <laughs> well, same thing with me. I'll have to go with C. I would have been choosing it just like you did. Well, enjoyable any moment. If you have your own votes, go ahead and leave yourself down a comment below and post it here on your media on 2K TV Wow. Well, I say C. That's my choice. <laughs> Good option out there. Now let's get into the game. Brian, all yours. Boston, Massachusetts, the destination for the Cavaliers. A menace down in the paint. Jared Allen is dialed in on the task at hand tonight as they prepare for the task ahead against the Celtics. Cavs, Celtics, coming right up. Celtics, Marcus Smart, a line for two. Smart nails him both. With Mobley, he's already drawing comparisons to other versatile big men doors. Oh, 
about VA, I don't want to get ahead of myself, but this guy has a chance to become one of the elite defensive players in league history. It is clear when he's at the top of his game, they are a scary team defensively. Now here's Allen. Six on the shot clock. Out to Garland. Over Smart. Garland, no good. Jen Brown! Brown Robert Williams, who do you set? This is a guy who is constantly looking to initiate that body contact with the defense. Fantastic replay we just saw of the mobile one drive. And in close games like this one, B.A., you need toughness. Guys who will run to the fight and get after it. Here's the Coro. The Celtics making their last shot. That's a good Coro. Let's go live with that one. Coro just making a tough contested shot. Outside Tatum. Pass to Smart. Back to Tatum. Over a Coro. JT! I love to see that kind of activity. He just makes things happen. Outside Mitchell. Coro. Oh, it's blocked by Williams. Here's Brown. Dylan Brown. Oh, Brown's got this. Hey, hey. Pass to Okoro. Now here's Mitchell outside Garland. Here's Okoro. Offensive foul on the uh, Cavaliers. Isaac Coral, his first personal foul. First team foul. And he made sure to do it early, too. Here's Brown. Here's Boston, they've gone three of three so far from the floor. Right now, firing on all cylinders. Yeah, there's a nice flow to this offense right now. Smart passes to Tatum. Back to Smart. Shoot from the elbow. Lovely grabs the board. The Cavs trailing. When you watch him play, you can feel the effect that Marcus Smart has on a basketball game. Is as good as any guard in the league, and he has multiple all defensive selections to show for it. Boston foul, number zero, Jason Taylor. It's first personal foul. First team foul. Out of line for Cleveland. Clear it out. Out of line, taking two shots. Celtics and their fans. I think one thing that makes them unique, it isn't just the state of Massachusetts, right? It's the entire region of New England. Now here's Tatum. Pass to Smart. Horford against Mobley. Takes a 13 footer. Tries again. Williams. Robert Williams! Cleveland, they've gone one for three so far. Time, Time out, Cleveland. Yeah, Doris, if you're anywhere in the northeast portion of the U.S., you're going to see a lot of Boston jerseys. Well, Maine, New Hampshire, Vermont, Rhode Island, they all adopt the Celtics as their hometown team. But here's what's even more impressive, B.A. Go to any NBA city, any of the other 29 cities, and you are going to see Celtic green jerseys. 
Blues. That is a fan base that travels well. Now, if they were saying that they were going for each city, don't get uncomfortable that you are looking for. Everybody really wants to know the secret. Well, in definite cases, they really want to improve it. I don't know if it is impossible to try to make that one clear, but more than I could tell, I mean, don't be like showing it off with what you ever wanted to be. You, you really want to make sure that everyone is there too. Just in case if, if everybody's around, you can just get to enjoy it. Most of the team, they can't be really, really aggressive to make, try to maintain that one. Well, I don't know the best, but you can't just really say that when all players really get there, they really want to enjoy it. You just can't just find anybody. You really want to make sure they step it up real quick. The faster they go, the more better they play. This offense is turning out on me. This one is turning a little bit harder inbounding and taking over for the world. That's what's everybody doing. Williams is tempted to lost the more white comes in for smart. Two minutes remaining in the first period. Two minutes. Here's Osman. From deep three point range. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. The Celtics have gone 4 of 7, shooting a solid percentage. Defense has stood out, wreaking havoc for the opposition. We'll be right back with you shortly. Hey, here's something you can see. And if you're just tuning in, we've got a wide margin on the scoreboard. But plenty of time left for a comeback. All right, guys, what do you think so far on the offensive approach for the Celtics? Well, hey, guys, I mean, can we talk about how unselfish they've been? Just racking up the assist numbers, moving it around with great precision. And they've also shown dominance in the paint so far tonight, really putting the work 
work in down low. You know, with all the dunkers out there, some players make sure they don't end up on too many posters. Brandon, you ever uh, make a business decision? Boston foul, number 57, Mike Muscala. His first personal foul, first team foul. Make sure that you can play defense. Out of line for Cleveland. Jared Allen. Making a line and two shots. Vince Carter in the midst of insanity, that's when you make a business decision. And that's a smart decision. All right, on the floor for Cleveland, getting going in the second. We've got Jared Allen, Jenny Osmond out there with Green. Then it's Donovan Mitchell, and it's Garland in at the point guard position. That one's off. Well, you just can't get rid of anybody because, you know, Jared Allen has to really pay it off right again. Well, everybody has to do it there, Clover. Everybody. Yeah, not just you. Because everybody has to do it right away. Do it on the second one. Now smart. Warford outside. Back to smart. Pass to Hauser. Here's the three. Nice. Donovan Mitchell for three. Well, this is why you get the ball into Donovan Mitchell's hands as often as possible. Three level score, ready on the catch. What you love about Donovan Mitchell is he is an attacking, scoring point guard. He can get off the triple drive. He's a great player. McCall Brogdon. Here from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Thank you very much, Brian. Well, Jalen Brown has been vocal when it comes to social justice. He said, quote, people need to step up and use their platform. Keep conversations. Illegal screen, offensive foul on Van Fanny Green. His first personal foul, Celtics ball. Thanks. Austin's shooting an unreal 69%. Really special stuff here. Mitchell's scoring abilities have often been a difference maker, Doris. Yeah, that's been especially true in the playoffs. Highly competitive, all about the right things. Now here's Muscala. Still getting warmed up offensively. No bucket yet in the game from him. Now approaching two minutes of action here in the second. On the wing, Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell, number three. Now this is what we've come to expect from Donovan Mitchell, a high percentage three-point scorer who doesn't miss opportunities like this. Back to Brockton. Pass to Hauser. It's smart on the wing. Clock at six. Over Garland. Doesn't go that time. And it's Cleveland the other way. Outside Mitchell. Outside Garland. From deep. Here is Garland for three. Assisted by Donovan Mitchell. Donovan Mitchell for three. Another bucket. And Boston calls time here. Dodge timeout. Celtics. Yeah, this is why you hate to lose momentum. It can be hard to get back. Well, here's what you can't do. You can't leave a man out. They're really just saying that you can't just like find anybody else around you. You're really that tough and minute. I don't have anything else to go with that. But keep in mind that this is not what everybody wants. They're really trying to get over this. That one, they have no questions to consider how they will do it. You really need that one to go right toward them, match up, and get kind of Yep, they definitely are doing this again. They never really didn't want to get over this. It's very, very tough, but nobody may not be noticing how they're going to get that done.
change here too. Coro checked in for Green. And we're just over two and a half minutes into the second. Here's Pritchard, guarded by Garland. Pass to Muscala. Here's Hauser. Big one foul. Number 31, Jared Ellis. A second personal foul. First team foul. At a line for the Celtics. Al Walker. A line for two. defense finally got recognized in 2018. Yeah, he made the NBA's all-defensive team that season, B.A., and he may not be a shot-blocking force like some of the great defensive players in this league, but there isn't a weakness to his game on the defensive end. He hits the second from the line. When you think about Al Horford, you think about a guy who entered the league with a maturity beyond his years. And now consider, guys, we've been talking about high-level play for over a decade in the NBA. What a career. And he recovers it. Allen, pass to Mobley. And it's Evan Mobley. This is Dubai, Jared Allen. The big coach, but you can see the touch on that mid-range jumper. That's pure. Three point foul number ten, Gary Scarlett. His first personal foul, his second team foul. And some stats here, guys. The line for the Celtics. Raven Pritchard. The line for two. So valuable. They realize this, and that's why they're continuing to drain as many as they can. Yeah, and what an excellent display of passing in the early stages of this game. A good deal of their points coming directly off quality passes. New substitution for the Celtics in caps. Harris Lever comes in for Garland. New substitution for the Cavs. Number 22, Gavin Wade. Number 3, Carol Silver. And number 45, Isaac Cook Coral. And so he hits both. The way he's shooting free throws tonight, you simply don't want to put him there. The Cavaliers have got five of seven shots to fall in the second. Outside Mitchell. Got a piece of it. Peyton Pritchard! Well, all in, that was the 2K drive. Well worth the second look. Yeah, he's clearly not satisfied with the lead they have. Took it to the rack and would not be denied. Pass to Muscala. Outside Brogdon. Two minutes, minutes remaining in the first half. Two minutes. minutes. Inside. Here's Hauser. Now here's Brogdon. Shot clock at six. Second shot opportunity. Here come Brogdon! Brogdon's got the second bucket on the night. Mitchell. Give him eight points now. Levert outside. Pass to Mitchell. To the inside. Okoro. Boston foul. Number 30, Sam Foster. His first personal foul. First team foul. At the line for Cleveland. Isaac Okoro. The line for two. is 
nothing falls for. New substitution for the Celtics. Number 44. Bradley Williams. And what can help me become a real rotation player in the NBA? So Brad Williams. With a new group. And chasing Gator. Also for Cleveland. Rubio's checked in. Allen falls, so he hits both of them. There's a minute 17 left to play in the first half. Outside Tatum, pass to Williams. Tatum with it. Outside White. The Cavaliers pull it in. Outside Rubio. Levert passes to Rubio. Here's the Coro, pounded by Tatum. To Rubio, they puts up a three. Called in by Brown. The Celtics with the lead. Thirty seconds left in the second period. Brian Williams. Gone. Jason Tatum. Passing ability is important to complement his scoring ability. Here's Levert. That one a little long. Like a clean. Pass to Brown. That's the end of the first half of the period. Boston Celtics 31 and Cleveland Cavaliers 20. Okay, Ali, appreciate it. And folks, we'll be back after halftime to begin the third quarter. All right, let's have your guys say for the halftime show. Hit it. And what a show being put on here for the home fans. I'm Ernie Johnson, along with Shaquille O'Neal and Kenny the Jet Smith. Things were going Boston's way from the beginning. Their exceptional focus and all-around execution immediately triggered a 15-4 run at the start. They came out swinging in the first and ended the quarter ahead by 16 points. They survived various ups and downs in the second quarter, never really giving too much away, though, and were able to roll into halftime up by 11. Taking a look at the Celtics, Shaq, what do you think? They wouldn't be ahead without the numbers they've gotten from the bench, providing major contributions, especially the offense. They're taking a lot of pressure on the second quarter. What luxury have the second quarter to Kenny, let's get your insight on Cleveland. Hey, Ernie, it's not hard to see why they're down this season. They're not even shooting 35% of the field. They've got to come up with some new wrinkles. If they can create better shots, then they have a better chance. And that wraps up the halftime show. Third quarter set to begin in just a few. Time for, time for the second half. And with a big gap on the scoreboard, the second half begins with very different goals for these teams. One side trying to mount a comeback, one side trying to protect their lead. We've seen Donovan Mitchell really having a great game. Through the first two quarters, he's been on fire. Explosive offensive performance. Boy, he has been shouldering the load. Aggressive, skilled, talented, and thus far, unstoppable. Wasn't too much drama in the first half, but maybe things will tighten up here in the second. Tatum and Horford at the forward slots. Smart and Brown, a great defensive backcourt. And it's Williams in at the five down low. That's who's in the game for the Celtics. Now here's Mitchell. Up and in. Donovan Mitchell. Mitchell's got ten points. There's a measure of composure with Donovan Mitchell, just so calm and focused, understanding how to manipulate the pick and roll. Williams against Allen. Outside Tatum. Inside. Okay. Tatum's got a second bucket on the 
of her. Donovan Mitchell, this is it for us. Very scarlet. Elite as a scorer in this league. He's cooking right now. That was another look at our mobile one drive of the game just a moment ago. Now that's the kind of play that can really start a run. He knows a little momentum to get them back even. Now here's Smart. Here's Horford. Oh, Horford! Oh, Marcus Smart. So much early on in his career. His second personal foul. That one's on Darius Garland. Routine foul. Line for the Celtics. Marcus Smart. Line for two. He's showing off to it. He never really got a point. And he really wants it. Yeah, it's just impressive if how a player gets some reaction out of it. They really never want to get it on. They really want to get over this. They want to go under it. They got to get that one clean. Substitution for the for Boston Celtics and for the Great Cleveland. effort on the defensive end every night, and he's a willing shooter at the most critical moments. The Celtics it's making a switch here. Ball Brogdon's checked in. Osman, he's checked in for Cleveland. Green comes in for Okoro. And he sinks the second. Right around three minutes into this second half. Outside, Green. Back to Garland. The three is up. There he is, Scarlett. For three. Third basket on the night right there. Five out. Celtics. Quarter three, and Darius Garland is good from distance. And Austin calls time here. The NBA, the Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports is brought to you by your local Kia dealers. In a moment, that's buyers. American Express. Don't live life without it. And by Adidas. New episode of Indiana Anime Insanity Invitational will be number 14 of the June on the day before summer break hits. That will be the next part of it to keep your eyes peeled on for another part of the newest episode of Release Pit. Now, I've never seen what's going on like this because most fans are wearing green jerseys. I know it's bleak green, but what's the courtesy if you always say you're going to get out on the grid if you get out your green jersey? Well, you'll be in the bleak green team. That's all it does now. 
For the Celtics, Mike Busca. Third quarter action, just under three and a half minutes have passed. Cleveland has gone one of two shooting from the perimeter since halftime. Here's Garland. From down in the there is Garland. Assist. Assist. Just, just a five point Celtic lead. Very steady Osman. Remaining in the third period, two minutes. Darius Garland. Another bucket right there. And here in the NBA, Osman has had his share of success as well, Doris. He has been, and he's proven to be a real asset for this team. Something of a gap for him. He can give you a lot with whatever minutes he gets. Hey, Mark this spot. They're not settling for three pointers. These guys are putting in the work inside. Pass to Allen. On the wing, Green. Tatum with the block. Probably the most underrated aspect of Jason Tatum's game is his defense. Size, length. Jason! And now we'll get a perspective here on how the hustle game has been going for the Celtics. Their defense has been on point all game long. Hustling the shooters and sliding down plenty of shots. So they've also been scoring on the break with how difficult it is to get buckets on the half court any time you want. Donovan Mitchell. That's big time. How high was Donovan Mitchell? How pretty was that dunk? My goodness. And what a drive that was. Replay courtesy of Mobile One. It's hosting the defense and getting in close. Don't take possessions like that one all day. Mitchell against Brockton. That's the smart. Brockton Smart! It's a chance for a three point play. Cleveland foul, the bet spot. Larry Sterling. It's a very personal foul. It's a team foul. And a line for Celtics. Marcus Smart. And a line for Wad. to the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports. Now to bring you our State Farm assist to the game. And he definitely deserves the award. Reading the defense like a point guard. He's got the size to survey over the top of the defense and find the open man. That was beautiful.
It's the fourth quarter. Get up and make some noise. Boston has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. So for Cleveland right now, they've got Ricky Rubio. Also, Karis LeVert out there. Mobley out there with Isaac Okoro. And it's Wade in at the four slot. Outside, Williams. Robert Williams! We've seen him with plays like that. I mean, just continuing to pile it on. You want to make sure your opponent knows they have absolutely zero chance of a comeback. And nice finish by him. And no lack of aggression on that move. Good for the 2K drive. Yeah, that's a little icing on the cake right there. Put him on a show while they enjoy a big second half lead. Pass to Okoro. Especially when they always go with the offense run. I mean, give it up, would you? They really didn't want to have that one a struggle defense of the look. Well, the facing of this one here, it's probably the key. The ultimate of this matchup may not be determined, but you may never know. You guess it's the fate. Mm -hmm. I know it will be due for anybody you care for. Now let's take a look at the new balance player of the game, Darius Garland. He's almost beyond belief what he's done in this game. Impossible to cool off, hitting just about everything he looks at. It doesn't matter who's guarding him, he's had an answer for just about everyone. 
Jalen Brown, he's checked in for Boston. Malcolm Brogdon comes in for Pritchard. Now checking in for the Celtics, Malcolm Brogdon and Jalen Brown. And so it's Cleveland with it. Trailing by 17. Garland with the ball. Now guarded by Brogdon. Showing great intensity around the rim. It's part of why he's a respected defender. And what you love about this work defensively, the ability to challenge and change shots without fouling. Williams passes to Brown. Clock at six. Out to the right wing. He is Horford. Good D by Mobley. Boy, he's at the cup, but that is tremendous defense. Prohibit the lay-in without fouling. Mitchell against Brown. Back to Garland. Here's the three. Once again, off the mark by Cleveland. The Celtics have gone. Two minutes remaining in the fourth period of game. Two minutes. Outside Tatum. Shot on the way. Tatum. 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 In just the second half. 149 left to the fourth. They've been having major problems offensively. Definitely in a bit of a dry spell. Ross and Val, number 44, Robert Williams. His first versus all five. First team foul. And a line for Cleveland. Evan Mobley. Taking two shots. Once again, coming up later tonight will be the Bruins and the Hurricanes at TD Garden Arena again, the same location here. Once we have it all set up, ready to like change the court to the ice rink, we will let you know by 7 p.m. And he knocks down the first one. Well, New substitution for Cleveland. Danny Green. Lance Stevens. And Robert Lopez. This guy, the sky's the limit. And the Cavaliers no. making a change here. Lopez, he's checked in for Allen. Stevens comes in for Okoro. Green's checked in for Mitchell. And Neto is subbed in for Darius Garland. So after making the first, he goes one for two. And he doesn't shoot the lead as much as he should have. That hurts a bit. Pass to Brogdon. Back to Williams. Brown passes to Horford. Six on the shot clock. Distance between the point totals for these teams tells the whole story. Just a fantastic effort, and you have to give it up for the Celtics. You can score without sharing the ball, but it can be a whole lot easier when guys are assisting one another. <laughs> yeah, they were very patient. They were also unselfish, and ultimately, that's why they were so efficient. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for Jason Tatum. And I love his... Jay Boston foul number zero. Jason Tatum. It's second personal foul. Seventeen foul. Team for Cleveland. Danny Green. Two shots. Substitution for Boston Celtics. Aiden Richard and Sam Hauser. New substitution for the Cleveland Cavaliers. Devin Wade, Brian Mobley. No good on the second free throw. The Celtics on offense. 
They're on a 12 to 3 run. Back to Brown. Pass to Griffin. Another shot. Out of bounds. Cleveland with the ball. And the fans love seeing incredible moments on defense like that block. Yeah, good offense comes from great defense. This lead is only getting stronger with plays like that. Here's Neto. And that's the end of the game. Final score, Boston Celtics 60 and Cleveland Cats 40. This team really showed what it's capable of coming up to. Thank you for joining us. We have to do it for now. Say for Allie LaForce, Grant Hill, and Doris Burke. I'm Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. We'll see you next time. Now time for the post-game show. Let's get in. Brian, guys, thank you so much. And for this part, the Boston Celtics wins the second game over Cleveland on a shocking loss here for the first two games in Boston for Cleveland. Now they'll be back home to do this one again starting on Monday. That will be happening to be right toward it on a, off of the day. And then back in the game will be on Wednesday's game that will be happening right in between below. And now this is what the lucky day is always about. Boston Celtics are a very that good team. Well, in definitely that case, it's about the moment. They really enjoyed it that most. They really say Boston Celtics may be the next favorite team to win. But hopefully, the other team may be just looking for a comeback to get in there. There's a choice for Cleveland Cavs if they want to get in it. Here's how they did with the total statistics. 58% for the Boston Celtics at the field goals. 40 for Cleveland Cavaliers. 78 for free throws for Boston. The 8 for Celtics. 32 points in paint, also known with second chance points for 6, assists was 17, and offensive rebounds was 21 for Boston Celtics. Defensive rebounds was given a little bit, little bit of hard on the take, but 20 turned to be here. Along with steals, blocks, turnovers, 22 for 1, and 4 points off for Boston Celtics. 7 evens, 7 in a row evened up for the offensive rebounds. Then it was across the fear team fouls were even too. That's the biggest change. A little bit of grass on that one here. Mm, tough one. You can never go wrong. Three dubs performed for Boston Celtics. 20 biggest lead in the game. And 12-36 for Boston Celtics. They are always on the run. Put it up in a decent score to take them out of the fifth seed. But there's hopefully for another one to keep an eyes away. And now, time for three star players of the game. Let's start with you, Culver. You start first. All right, thank you. <laughs> Very good one to be here. You never know. Third star, let's start up, as we're going to give this one a credit run to start here. Darius Garland with 12 points, three assists, one steal, one dunk, and 19 before its run. He only made five out of eight field goals percentage of the range, and three pointers was two in a row. Not really enough, but hopefully again, they'll try to work it more on aggressive run. Now our second star goes to Son of Beast. Alright, thanks Clover. Now we're over here on the other side, we have his Donovan Mitchell. He had 14 points. Already been showing up with one dunk, but you may never know him while he's aggressive. 17 performance run, already been showing up like he did. Then it was 6 field goals percentage, 2 three-pointers. And with that one, it did turn out what he really wanted to do. That's what's him. His message may be across from Cleveland, but don't keep your life out of here. Be more on the case. Now for me phone for number one. Well, I'm going to give it off to Jason Tatum. The Tatum man. Veteran from University of Duke. 16 points, 4 rebounds, 3 assists, 2 blocks. That was incredible. 1 dunk, 22 performance run. And only had 8 field goal percentage. He never wanted to do 3 pointers alone. He's always that perfect. Yeah, Jason Tatum. What a great star. 
And that will conclude the first game of the doubleheader for the NBA. Thanks for watching and peace out everyone for a while as the NBA Eastern Conference Finals on 2K Sports Style. If you're tuning in with us to the Stanley Cup Playoffs for the Conference Finals of the Bruins and the Hurricanes, it's coming up soon. So once we get the change to court, we will have the ice rink ready for the Bruins for anything. See you all in just a bit. If you don't, if you don't, somebody will.